Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty! Mama Z is here! We are back with our original Gingerbread Man cookie decoration character transformation video. And today, as you saw in the thumbnail, we have another episode dedicated to the Super Mario Bros. movie. So far, these are the cookies that we have already created. I have Mario, his brother Luigi, and Princess Peach. And yes, if you've seen these videos, you know these cookies are fully edible. Today we are going to transform this giant, absolutely delicious gingerbread man cookie into Toad. Toad is so cute and many of you have requested to see cookie transformation into Toad. And we will need the following ingredients. I have white fondant, then I have white frosting and I customized the following colors. Dark brown, beige color, yellow, I have a peachy color and white. I didn't really have to make white color, I just uh, scooped it out from that container. Then I have blue, red, another red and black sparkle gels, variety of baking tools as well as edible markers, some candies. As you see I did not prepare too many candies today and that's okay. We're not gonna need lots of candies all the time. Here's my tray, my giant cookie, the mat, because as I always say, this activity can get quite sticky and messy, so it's good to protect your working space. And also I have a few pictures for inspiration. And make sure you stay till the end to find out what I used to make Toad's pan accessory. Let's remove the cookie. <gasps> no way! I can't believe it! This cookie needs a major surgery! Ouch! Okay, let's see what else we got. <laughs> we got candies and we got red and white icing. I can't believe something like that have happened to you. Look at this. Just look at this. I'm just gonna do the surgery behind the scenes so y'all not too bored watching me gluing the parts together. But I don't want to waste this cookie, right? Ta-da! Looking so much better. I did use some icing and had to wait some time for it to dry. And now look, we are ready to start decorating. I'm going to use this brown frosting for Toad's shoes. Next I'm using my tool and spreading the frosting around. Next, we are going to continue with Toad's pants. And as you see, he's wearing like a yoga harem looking pants. I am going to add some fondant right here to add some volume. It looks kind of funny right now, but we are going to be using white frosting on top to color his pants. And I think it's going to work out good. This time I'm taking this plastic knife and spreading the frosting. I like to use this knife because it gives me more of a even and smooth coat. Look how cute his pants look. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is <laughs> I think I'm gonna paint his face and his chest and his arms. Using the same tool to spread the frosting. Next, I'm gonna use this blue sparkle gel for his blue vest. And now he totally reminds me of Aladdin. yellow outline for his vest as well as the straps 
off his backpack but I do need this frosting and writing gel to settle a little bit and get dry meanwhile we are going to go ahead and make his mushroom cap out of fondant so I took a large piece of fondant and now I'm shaping it into the mushroom cap I measured this section so this should go nicely around and on top of our cookies head next I'm going to take my roller and just rolling out the fondant I want to have more volume right here on top less volume on the bottom so as you see I used extra fondant for the support because this mushroom cap is so big and I don't want it to just like droop down like this all right and now I am gonna go ahead and place it on top of Toad's head I think you're good to go one two three oh my goodness I think it's perfect <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> actually I decided to get a couple more pieces of fondant and put it right here under for like a little extra support on the sides as well now since the frosting is a little bit more dry I can go ahead and continue with more colors I'm gonna use this yellow frosting for the ribbon around his vest and I just totally did it behind the scene by accident I apologize for that another thing what I want to add would be these little candies oh actually I haven't even used this pack yet it's still closed okay so these little yellow stars that I want to add to the edge of his vest I just tried using this tool and of course I dropped one of the candy right on Toad's hand so sometimes I feel like even though tools like that can be helpful but at the same time I do like to use my hands more for more of a precise performance Next, let's continue with the straps uh, from Toad's backpack this is the color that I made. Actually, by looking at the images, in some pictures it looks more like beige, tan, in some it looks more like of a greenish army color. So, but anyways, this is the color that I made and I think it's gonna work pretty good. And for this section, I will be using these silver star candies. I'm gonna go ahead take my red sparkle gel and add circles to his mushroom cap oops excuse me <laughs> Toad is looking good. Okay, next I'm taking my black sparkle gel and I'm going to add two oval shaped eyes. Next, I'm adding a cute smile. I'm also going to be using black um, sparkle gel, but then I'm also gonna use pink one for his tongue. Next, for the light reflection inside of his eyes, I'll be using these white stars. I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I have a special item that I'm going to use to add the frying pan to his hand. The easy way would be either using Oreo cookie or chocolate coin or even like those, you know, round chocolates for a melted chocolate, but I didn't have any. Instead, I decided to use Hershey's chocolate and I literally melted it out. Look, check this out. I was melting the tool and then cutting out <laughs> this piece of chocolate and this is what I'm gonna use to resemble the frying pan so I'm gonna use a little bit of this frosting try to make a thin line for the handle and on top I'm gonna apply this round chocolate awesome <laughs> and there you go we have toad 
from the Super Mario Bros. movie transformed into a giant gingerbread man cookie or vice versa. Giant gingerbread man cookie transformed into Toad. And he looks very happy with Mario, Luigi and Princess Peach. Click the like button if you think I did a good job with this cookie transformation and leave me a comment below which character shall I transform into a giant gingerbread man cookie next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!